I knew I wanted to do something in the medical field, something to help people. I know it sounds very cliche, but like I'm a nurturer at heart. My name is Anne-Marie Solomon. I'm a pharmacy manager at Perth Amboy, Walgreens, and New Jersey. I've been a pharmacist for about 12 years now. And looking into the pharmacy profession, I knew it was good for a woman, it's good for a potential mother or a wife. That makes it easier when you have multiple hit print coupon and hit print. To show the same dedication, to show the same passion that a lot of these women do. You know, everything that I've worked hard for is a lot of it is because of my mom and seeing her passion, her dedication every day, it drives me even further into everything I do. So coming into the community that I'm in, it's the same way. They treat each other the same exact way. So I naturally just, uh, I'm drawn to them, you know? And I think that they're drawn to me for the same reason. It's not my personality to sit behind a desk. So I, loved be I love being around people. I love caring for people. I love having different conversations with different people all the time. I've always wanted to work for Walgreens. So I knew that if I went the retail route, it was going to be Walgreens. They do things that are different. They do things that are innovative. They're always pushing the envelope because we do the compounding. We do, we're an HIV excellence store as well. Um, and we do the clinical trials. So not a lot of stores have that. And so minority populations are underrepresented in clinical trials. So to have been selected to represent minorities in clinical trials, we're so happy to see that. Especially the community that I work in, in Perth Amboy. It's a mainly Hispanic population. A lot of them are low income. A lot of them don't have means of transportation. The most important thing is to have them understand that they are monitored throughout the entire process. There's doctors, there's dietitians, there's nurses, and we're also there if needed. So they are 100%, you know, taken care of during the process. We see a lot of people walking through our doors that need help, that need medical attention. Walking in when they're sick, when their child's sick in the middle of the night, when their child is throwing up in the middle of the night, what can I do? You know, they're not gonna call their doctor at 12 a.m. sometimes. So we're there to make sure that we can at least get them through the night to see a doctor, potentially. And also, there's something that's over the counter that somebody can take but they don't know about it. Walking in and talking to your community pharmacist will be able to help you with that. And we're 24 hours, so if you have any questions at all, you can always let us know, okay? You gotta have heart, you gotta have compassion, and you gotta have empathy. You know, we might live a certain way, but not everyone lives the same way, and we have to be open and empathetic to that and be able to help anyone that walks through our door, no matter what. And we do this every day, it's great.